WTA CTV 23 and presenting You Don't Know Jack The Lost Gold. Before we get started, after game 25, I'm going to be using sponsors. That's right. I'm using sponsors. There's 58 sponsors on the lot and 25 on the Facebook. So that is 83 sponsors in total I have achieved so far. Don't worry. We'll still have our normal sponsors. And our classics. Oh, wait. Anyway, this is a game 20... Yeah, 25. Sorry. I got confused there. Alright, I am almost three temps, which is 300,000, of getting the pirate back to its normal time. Arr, greetings! Here Permission to come aboard? Granted. Yeah, and we've got, uh, how many playing? Arr, you know okay. what? I'm gonna Keep name myself. Name there, so. and, uh, we'll get you on your sad, pathetic, scurvy way. I'm gonna make myself a captain. Keep away. Yep, I'll the be captain Adam. As in, <laughs> briny deep. Arr. Okay, you gotta hurry, fine. Just sweeten your pot like you did last game, and I'll be free from this hellhole soon enough. <laughs> and look for something special in this round, courtesy of me. Sail ho! Sail away. How you doing? Schmitty here. So glad you could make it. This was at the top of my to-do list. Okay, put down the instruction manual. It's time to get started. Pick a category. Coming at you. The forecast for the 60s? Groovy. This one's worth 4,000 bucks. Put your head between your knees. We're going down. If Al Roker had joined the weathermen back in the 60s, what type of daily forecasts would he have most likely made? Rainy with a mix of singing and dancing. Cold with late developing street poetry. Sunny with lots of terrorist activity. Or cloudy with a chance for gay rights. I know. I confuse Al Roker Free. and Gene Kelly all the time. Free. You want to see what the it's smart great. money says? The Weathermen were a radical protest organization that occasionally resorted to violence. Just like Al Roker. Remember that time Katie Couric interrupted his forecast and he blew up Rockefeller Plaza? The guy's a radical. Time to select a category. Introduce 30 Lashes with Kojak's Lollipop. We're talking six grand here, so pay attention. Flex those fingers, because here it comes. Which character would have had the appropriate trademark accessory if called in to punish vandalizing teen Michael Fay? How you doing, Mike? On May 5th, 1994, Mr. Peanut, the Norse god Thor, Elmer Fudd, or Charlie Brown's friend Linus? Too late now. Why didn't you pick why? this one? Lil oh, Mikey Fay was the American teenager gonna, who was sentenced to four lashes with a cane oh, in Singapore. And of course, the debonair Mr. Peanut always carries a cane. Although I'd imagine getting your ass whooped by a peanut would be humiliation enough. <laughs> Go ahead and pick one of these. The category, my mom can kick your mom's butt. How does $4,000 sound? 
See what you can do with Get this one. This one. My mother and your mother were out washing clothes. My mother punched your mother right in the nose. How could a boxing referee have stopped the fight once the nose bleeding began? By pulling out a red card, by calling a standing eight count, by asking... Come on. In boxing, a referee will call a standing eight count when a boxer's condition is in question. <laughs> of course, if that doesn't work, he'll ask the boxer, bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish, how many pieces do you wish? Wanna uh, pick a category? <laughs> we call this one, bakers get more spring breaks than anyone. Get it right, I'm handing over oh. 4,000 bucks. No challenges. We got okay, questions. get ready. See if you can complete this sequence. April Fool's Day, Arbor Day, Mother's Day, Armed Forces Day, then Father's Day, Flag Day, Memorial Day, or April Independence Day. Father's Day. No, not Father's Day. Now bring me the what? belt. What? What? <coughs> Here's a good That's answer. We're talking spring holidays here, and of these four, the one that takes place after Armed Forces Day is Memorial Day. Yes, Memorial okay. Day is the day that on which you remember secrets, those fallen comrades who went down last year after eating grandma's potato salad. Sure, time to make a choice. Uh-oh. You probably know what time it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This one's... I declare you the fourth impossible question called long hard and full of semen this baby will net you twenty six thousand six hundred and six dollars and six cents if you get it right is that right twenty six thousand six hundred and six dollars and six cents okay you know i'm beginning to see a connection here between the eerie muzak and the ghostly pirate character oh don't get me wrong still scares the bejesus out of me but hey what can a guy do right <laughs> Anyhow, the stays of a ship's foremast are fastened to a long wooden rod extending from the stem of the ship called a what? Bowsprit, yardum, foremast, or tiller. <laughs> Sorry, clock ran out. So you don't lose any sleep over it. Of course, you can't see the correct answer because that'd just make too much freaking sense, now wouldn't it? That's right, I'm talking to you, you phantom pirate voice with a scary music. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um, right. Tell me which category you want. Hey, The category is. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. And you pocket 4,000 bucks if you get this one right. Get out of Think hole. fast, here it comes. Which of these invaders has been thrown back for good? Measles, mumps, polio, or smallpox? What? Nope, measles are still around, but they're pretty easy to get rid of. You Darn. just need some cheese and a little trap, right? <laughs> for the curious, here's the right answer. As of a few years ago, our friends at the World Health Organization said that smallpox is basically wiped out. Oh, sure, a few vials of it still exist here and there. You know, for research and the inevitable smallpox nostalgia craze that'll hit in about ten years. So, Those what's it gonna be? To embark oh, upon the attack. Games. Well, you can't wait any longer. No problem. Here's your clue. Who is that masked man? Good luck. You're gonna need it. Superman is Clark Kent. Shazam. Okay, the music cut off.
almost perfect. Oh, wait, wait, one more. One more. Oh, wait, when did I yell the same one? Are you serious? Ah! Oh, Good work, my friend. Mom and Dad would be proud. Let's take I'm, the score. I got zero. <laughs> Zero. Well, golly gee, looks like you could use a road map. I got zero. Big circle and wound up right back where you started. At zero. Yeah, get your hands on a wow. random alley and open it up to the that page that says. That has never happened. You don't know Jack. Twenty-five games and I got zero. Zero. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. This has been a WTAC TV23 production in association with...